In the previous example we saw that the partial differential equation may have uh, several solutions. Uh, in order to um, find unique solutions we have to add some um, um, information to the problem. And typical information we want to add is uh, boundary conditions and initial conditions. We are uh, going to come back to this uh, later on. More generally, a partial differential equation may be take the form p of u equal f. Uh, and p is a so-called partial differential operator. We are only go going to consider linear partial differential operators. And what does this mean? It means uh, that um, if you take the function k1 multiplied with u1 plus k2 multiplied with u2 where k1 and k2 are constants and u1 and u2 are functions then this guy the, uh, when we take the partial differential operator of this guy we obtain this. Uh, I know that you are familiar, familiar with the concept of linear operators, um, linear operators uh, from, for example, linear al algebra. Let's take an example of this. If the partial differential op operator is uh, the first derivative of u with respect to t minus c square. Uh, multiplied with the second derivative of u with respect to x and we may for for simplicity put f equal to zero then um, uh, this general equation takes this special form um, of course we have put f equal to zero uh, so uh, it's zero on the right hand side of uh, this identity and on the left side we have this. So if you just take the, uh, the second term and put it on the right side we obtain this equation which is the usual one-dimensional heat equation. Why is this operator linear? Um, well it's rather simple actually we take p of this guy and uh, um, if we just replace in the expression for the operator replace um, u by this guy we obtain uh, this expression and since the um, first derivative is a linear uh, operator in fact we obtain uh, this, this uh, guy is changed into this and the second derivative uh, with respect to x is certainly also a linear operator so we obtain that uh, this is equal to this and if we just um, collect uh, terms uh, which is multiplied with k1 and k2 respectively, we obtain uh, this. And now we can identify that this is actually uh, p of u1 and this is actually p of u2. So then we get the sum of these two terms, which proves that uh, the operator in fact is linear.